Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Real Mike C3. Seems like it's been a while since I did a video, so happy to be back. Just kind of taking a break from the uh, collecting collecting cards. Um, I was really hyped for Chilling Rain and just seeing that the pull rates were really kind of shit. And also like the print quality of that first wave was just not the best so i haven't really been looking forward to um spending money on it or well, you know as much as i was planning to um and then also uh with the all the stuff that's coming out for that celebrations uh set it just looks awesome so i really like in all honesty i just want to save my money and just buy as much as of that as i can because um, I think it just kind of came and like stole the show, not only from tri uh, Chilling Rain, but also from uh, Evolving Skies, because I thought that was gonna be a cool set too. And then you start to see all the leaks and all the hype that's going into that, and it just looks awesome. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, today is currently Saturday, so I believe I believe these came out yesterday and we are finally getting into the uh, Sinnoh, Sinnoh region. So of course you have Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup. Th these were uh, really great starter Pokemon. And this is cool because you know in a few months the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, th those games are gonna be coming back out. Let me know if y'all are gonna pick those up and which of these starter Pokemon uh, will you be choosing? I plan on getting both games. I normally do for Pokemon. And uh, I'm cheap. I, I, uh, I trade all the starters to myself. So I do one playthrough with all the starters on a game and one with just a, a team of Pokemon from that region so okay you got Turtwig, Looking Beast Chimchar that is really really cool and Piplup he's probably the cutest of all um I don't think I care too much for uh, Turtwig's evolution line but I say out of all the starters he was my favorite but like as a whole I probably have to give it to Chimchar, uh, Monferno, and then, then Infernape, of course. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Uh, let me know your opinion. But, while I do like Chimchar, I think it falls a little short to like Torchic, Buskin, and Blaziken. In terms of the fire starters, which we'll see that next month when the Hoenn region comes out. So that's just a look out of it. Look at it. Add it to the first starter binder. It's pretty cool. We're almost almost done with it. So that's pretty nice. And let's see what packs we got in here. Sorry if I'm kind of rambling on, guys. Making this video too long. Just wanted to explain why I haven't been uploading quite as much. But sun and moon base, and then chill and rain. So let's see. Let's see what we can get. There's a code card for that sun and moon base. Psychic energy. Rainbow energy. Crocorock. Piyuka Muka. Fomantis. Sparrow, Picky Peck, Sandile, Alolan Rattata, Drowsy is going to be our reverse, and our rare is going to be another one of the starters, Primarina, the final evolution. Uh, what is it, Poplio? There you go, water starter for the non hollow rare. And now we got this Galarian Articuno pack. Oh man. 
Okay, so we know that there ain't a hit in here. Let's see what we got. Metal Energy, C. Leo, Doctor, Haunter, Ladyba, Sable, Larvesta, Cast Form, uh, Galarian Farfetch'd, Coughing is the reverse, and a Zangoose. I'm not sure if I have this already, so that's pretty cool for the rare. So again, no luck today, but <laughs> I'm used to getting crapped on by these first starter packs. I just kind of buy it to get the big cards anyways, because I do love all the starter Pokemon. Well, not the best of luck this time, but guys, until next time, let me know how it's going for you, and peace.